At SAIO 2017, which is Asia's biggest food and beverage trade show, merchants from Latin America were trying hard to introduce their local produce to the Chinese market. Acai is a kind of berry from the Amazon. Uh, it's uh, at top of the superfruits around the world. Uh, the Brazil nut is the richest source of selenium. Uh, it's a really natural product, really rich in minerals. They are using a similar sales pitch, that their products are both exotic and healthy. That's no coincidence. The tactic is behind one of the biggest marketing success stories, which belongs to a particular Latin American export product, avocado. In 2010, China imported only less than two tons of avocados. But since then, something happened. The volume skyrocketed straight to 25,000 tons in 2016. You can find them in almost any Western restaurants in China. Look, avocado becomes so popular recently. Every day guests uh, order in one or two dishes based on avocado. It's become such a trend that chefs are adding avocados in many traditional dishes. Oh, look, we put it on the pizza. This is funny, avocado pizza. Well, uh, avocado pesto with the, with the pasta, with the brunch. So start to be a Benedict, egg, salmon, avocado Benedict. So. For many urban Chinese in first-tier cities, having brunch on a weekend with a cocktail and some exotic avocado dishes has become part of the quintessential middle-class lifestyle. Why is that? Experts say it's because of marketing. When this creamy fruit was marketed to Western consumers in the early 20th century, it was called the alligator pear, and people didn't like it. Since then, sellers kicked off a marketing campaign, which involved changing its name to the more exotic-sounding avocado, and aggressively promoting the health benefits of avocado's unique unsaturated fat. They call it... Good fat. We all need good fats, and the avocado is the best source of good fats. Any food gets better with, with avocados. It worked. Celebrities, supermodels, and people all over social media fell in love with it. Finally, it caught the attention of China's internet-savvy younger generation. The young generation start to be more forward, right? And start to research what's the lifestyle, what's the Western lifestyle uh, it became, right, in the recent years. Exporters are excited. Currently, all avocados in China are imported, and Mexico claims the lion's share, followed by Chile and Peru. And now we want to focus on the Chinese market with our promotions. And we believe that we can be at close to 60,000 tons by year 2020. China has become the fastest growing avocado market for the top three producing countries. The marketing legend of this Latin American fruit will live on across the Pacific. Yang Chengxi, CGTN, Shanghai.